Hey crew, Mark Hatmaker here. Uh, I'll explain what this contraption is in just a moment. I want to demonstrate uh, uh, for you one thing from the old school fisticuffs material. And fisticuffs is more than just another word for boxing. Uh, see uh, this week's Legends newsletter, uh, which is November 3rd or 4th, I guess, whatever comes out. Uh, also see this month's Raw, ESP Raw 181, begin introducing tactics and drills using Gold School Fisticuffs. And also take a look at our ind Indigenous Ability blog where we're going to give you a big historical breakdown about what's actually going on with uh, uh, some of the Fisticuffs. I don't want to give away too much here because I want the people, you know, free market and all that noise and let the, uh, the Raw crew, a uh, Raw subscription crew, have a, uh, a first stab at most things. Um, I'm just taking the standard uh, uh, throwing dummy. And, I, and I, I've given it some elevation so I can work off of a head drag position. Why am I not doing this on a human being? Because I found that almost every human being that we play with now, no one digs this at all. You're getting ready to find out. The, the shock is just hellaciously horrible. So if we imagine us going from a head drag position, from a clinch position, snapping down head drag, we got a good solid control on, on the back of the head, we got chin control underneath, we got elbow to the inside, running completely parallel so that we only have one escape route, escape of being like we're, we're, we're planning this the entire way. Uh, so we know we always have a slap to the back of the head, a rolling cup to the back of the head. You know, using the inner uh, uh, edge of the hand here is not just a slap. It's always this rolling percussive shot, catching the occipital bulge and making the head pop down a little bit. That's old news. What is a bit new on this is this up cuff position. And cuff is exactly what you think, where your shirt cuffs within. This inside inner uh, piece of bone will be coming up. At the same time you're applying that, that rolling uh, uh, cupping position uh, to uh, the back of the head so we got the cup rolling CUP and then CUFF from the underside. This one also rolls to me so it comes up strikes not with the thumb not with the uh, uh, the inverted hammer fist but with the actual bone rolls up and as if it was coming back to my chest. Now it will not make it to my chest because there were actually a chin on this thing or a bridge of the nose or the teefers right here you're going to find that this all gets snapped and rolled in it. It's a horrible position so if we're moving from here, nice hooked up, we finally get this rolling position and then really snap into play in our head drag. Hellacious. Now you can use this to set up the head drag. You can use this, you can use this as a few percussive sh uh, shocks in the head drag. Uh, and actually there's a higher version of it, whatever we're using it as straight uh, striking application. But you know, I don't want to give that away here. Like I said, we'll take a look at Raw 181. But to play with this, you take it to a partner. We, even whenever we had this with the face shield helmet on this, it's just the shock is, is amazing because these are happening at the at the same time. There's such a contrary pull on it. Not only is the shock on the head, you can actually feel some stretch in the cervical vertebra. So I'm talking be safe while you play it. You might want to run yourself some mock-ups where the key will be here and bringing this forward, brushing to me. This is up to me, and both of them will have a percussive feel to them the entire way. Play with them, be careful, but by God, play with them because they're a lot of fun.